Hello everyone and thank you for joining. My name is Andrea Pinillos. Please feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Today I'm going to be creating a step-by-step -step video on how to build a trip planner application from blank with Microsoft Power Apps. My intention is for you to be able to follow along and learn the technology, but also create a massive trip planner application that you can use for any upcoming trips. I'm making up the features as I go along, so feel free to comment on these videos with suggestions or recommendations for future how-to videos. In today's part one session, I'll be doing an intro to the common data service. I'll show you my initial data model I created for the entities and fields associated with my Trip Planner app. I'll also demo how to create an environment inside Power Apps, a new solution for the project, how to create entities fields and relationship between those entities. In the next video, I'll tie it all together by building forms and views for said entities, and eventually our trip planner application will use a model-driven app, a Canvas app, Power Automate flows, a Power Apps portal, and maybe even dabble with PVAs and AI Builder. Join me on this journey as we use the Power Platform to create a fully functioning application. Here's an overview of the platform. Eventually, we'll hit most of these as we continue to build our trip planner application. Today, we will focus on the Common Data Service. The Common Data Service is the out-of-the-box database system for Power Apps. It includes entities that are similar to tables in SQL. These entities are commonly used concepts and activities across a variety of business and app domains. CDS has the ability to extend the standard entities by adding custom fields and relationships. It also has the ability to create calculated and roll-up fields to provide out-of-the-box calculations across applications. CDS also has the ability to add business values, validation, a sophisticated security model, and production-ready developer SDK. This is my trip planner data model. I like to map out my entities and relationships before I start building in CDS. This helps me visualize the relationships so I can easily create new entities if I need to later on. I have created eight different entities or tables. Each of them have a relationship between one other entity. These entities all include fields that are related to a trip planner, including an entity for trip with fields such as the name of the trip, the destination city, and the dates. The entities on the far left have a one-to-many relationship to this trip entity one of them being the destination city, because I have included this as a lookup field on the trip entity. On the bottom left corner, I have my lodging entity. And this has fields that are all related to what a user might need for lodging. For example, check-in and check-out times. I've also created a location entity that is related to both the lodging entity and the activity entity, since both will need a location for the user to input. The activity entity on the bottom right of the map is anything from excursions to restaurants. Some of these fields include the venue name and the confirmation ID. The last two entities are for flight and a related one-to-many entity for airport. All of the major entities containing a lookup field are directly related to our trip entity. This is important for when we start building our model-driven app. We will be adding related tabs to our UI so the user can find everything related to the trip entity in one place. I'll show you what I mean when we start building the model driven app portion of our trip planning application. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to navigate to the maker portal. So please navigate to make.powerapps.com and sign in. Once you've signed in, we're going to give this environment a database. So we're going to click on settings, admin center, We're going to go to the environments tab and click on your environment. Click on add database, add. And this might take a few minutes to provision. While we wait for that to provision in the background, let's walk through the Power Apps Maker portal. Right off the bat on the home screen, you can see that you can start from any data, including SharePoint, Excel Online, SQL Server, and even CDS, of course. You can also make an app from blank. You can make a Canvas app from blank, a model-driven app, or a portal. You also have access to hundreds of templates that you can use out of the box. And if you need a little bit more assistance, you can get started with these entry-level learning sessions here. And down here at the bottom is where all of your apps will live. So once we start creating applications, we can go back to the home screen, and on this dashboard, we can see all of our apps. 
The first thing we're going to do is we're going to navigate to solutions and we're going to create a new solution. This new solution is going to be the basis for our project. So we're going to name this trip planner. And we're actually going to create a new publisher so we don't have to use the out of the box publisher that they have for us. So once you sign in, you'll go ahead and select a display name. I'm going to just use my initials for this. And you'll want to give a personalized prefix. This prefix will appear on all of your fields that you add for your entity. So they are customized for your project. Once you're done, you're going to click save and close. And your publisher should appear here. APS, we're going to select create. Once we've created that solution, we'll see it under solutions. We'll navigate to that solution. And you'll see that no components have been found. That's okay. We're going to select new up here and we're going to create our very first entity. We'll use the map that I was using before to create all of our entities and our fields. So we'll select entity and we'll give our first entity a name. So our first major entity was called trip. We'll give this trip entity a name, plural trip. We'll leave this as name, primary field. More settings. User team, that's correct. And we'll select done. So I've brought up the trip planner data model. This is what we're going to use to start building our entities and our fields and our uh, data model. Uh, so on the left hand side, we have a data model. On the right hand side, we have power apps and we've created our trip entity already. So we'll start building this by creating all of these fields under trip entity in this middle column. I'll create a few and I'll fast forward. Trip name can be skipped since we already have that as the primary text field. We'll go down to destination city. And since this is a lookup field and is related to this entity out here, we're actually going to go ahead and close this panel, go back to trip planner and create a new entity for this so that we can add it as a lookup. ownership of this is organization. And inside this destination city field, we're going to give this abbreviation. Leave it as text, but you have all of these data type options that you can use. We'll be using some of them for the other ones. And done. So now that we've created that, we'll go back to the solution. Oh, save our entity, go back to the trip panel solution, go to the trip entity, and now we're gonna add field. We'll name this destination city, and we'll use lookup data type. And you'll see this come to life once we start using and building the model driven app. We'll look for destination city and done. We'll keep going down the list after destination city is from, and this data type is date. And we want to do date only done field to date only done add field, description. Instead of just regular text, we're gonna do multi-line text so that we can expand this 
in case the user wants to use multiple lines of text for this. Done. It looks like the next one is type and this is a lookup and we have this field or this entity out here on the left. So we'll go ahead and save this entity. Best practices would be to do the smaller entities that are lookups to other entities first. That way you can just quickly go in and add them as a lookup. So we'll go back to Trip Planner, select new entity, and we're going to say trip type. We'll leave this as is, more settings, we'll change this to org, done, we'll add an abbreviation field, leave this as text, done, save. Go back to Trip Planner, go back to Trip. You see our entities are being added there. Add field. We're going to select lookup to our trip. So this trip type will be anything from personal, business, that way we can add this in and everything is uh, the same. Done. And that is it for our trip entity. We'll go ahead and save. And as you can see here, we've created all of these relationships already from destination and trip type. I'll go ahead and create the other uh, entities and um, get back to you at the end. So now we've created two main entities, lodging and trip. But we want to create a relationship between lodging and trip so that we can bring in these entities together when we create our model-driven app. So we'll navigate to our trip entity. We'll navigate to relationships. And we're going to select many to one. So many trips to one lodging. And the lodging entity will already be in here since we've already created it. So we've created this lookup field, this relationship now between trip and lodging. This is what your screen should look like and you'll hit done. Now we've created that relationship and lodging is now connected to trip. We'll continue this process for the other entities listed here. Same process, creating a new entity for airport, Adding these fields in, once you get to airport, you'll select lookup and save the entity and continue. You'll also be able to create a flight relationship to trip, just like we created for lodging. And the same thing for activity. We'll want to create a relationship from activity to trip, just like we created for lodging. I hope you were able to follow along with me and finish creating the rest of the entities, fields, and relationships. In my next trip planner video, we will use the entities and fields to create and build forms and views. We will also be adding tabs inside our trip form with a related entity field so the user can add any flights, lodging, and activities related to the specific trip they are taking. Thanks for joining. I hope these step-by-step -step videos help you better understand Microsoft Power Platform. Bye everyone.